Hey everybody, it's Steve Kraus. I'm coming at you today from my office. I'm back from California, IA, which was a lot of fun, but it was a huge time suck for me. I was out there for a conference, so it's not like I was out there just vacationing. I mean, I had some fun and everything, but mostly I was there for work. And uh, uh, I got trapped in a lot of work stuff, and I also ended up having terrible internet access, and so I didn't wasn't able to get as much work done in the uh, hotel rooms I prefer. But I've got uh, a number of people's, two thirds of the people who sent in the uh, um, uh, their essay, their individual essay for the, for the film projects done. I'm hoping to finish the rest of those yet tonight. And um, uh, so you'll have the grades for that. Don't also don't forget that you need to have send me email send me an email before um, Monday or today or with today's Monday today or tomorrow about your participation grade for the second part of the term, and don't forget to finish up the blog entries for the second part of the term. Those are due I believe also by Tuesday of this week. So that means that today and tomorrow the goal is to wrap up the stuff that's sort of left over um, from the uh, spring term here. Now. I've, uh, that means if you do all that, that I will be able to tell each and every one of you by Wednesday, probably the end of the day on Wednesday, but Wednesday nonetheless, uh, exactly what grade you will get in the class without any revisions. <clears throat> in other words, um, uh, if you don't do any revisions at all, and if you just do the final, um, this is pretty much what grade you're going to get. You have to do the final too, but I mean, I'm presuming everyone's going to do that. Um, if you do want to do revisions, then you have then your grade will probably increase uh, based on that. I've talked with people about revisions. I, if if you haven't talked with me yet about one, you need to talk with me either in person or you need to talk with me on the phone, and we need to set something up too sweet about that. Um, but we can talk more about that as we as we go here. Um, people started to talk about the final, which is good. The, it's been up there since the beginning of the term, and I think it's pretty straightforward. The only piece of advice that I would have about the final that I think is important is use the structure of the final itself to structure your answer. Don't use the course as a way to structure your answer. In other words, what the final is asking you to do is to explain how you have met the outcomes of the course um, through the various kinds of projects and, and the outcomes are listed there on the final and so what I would suggest is that you go through those outcomes and explain how different activities met them as far as you can tell. I wouldn't suggest that you say that you basically just give an outline of the class that says well first we did this adventure on technology project and that was kind of interesting and then we did the style project and you know that kind of thing. So use the final itself as a structure. The other thing that's important about the final is, is that if you are someone who is in the uh, secondary ed program or actually any of the ed programs, um, and you're either hoping to be an English teacher or a language arts teacher, or you want to be certified to be an English teacher at some point, then you need to go through the process for NCATE. Now, NCATE is something that is handled through the College of Education, and all I need to do is get you to do, you know, submit the things to NCATE, um, and all I will do is I will, you know, post a uh, information on NCATE that you know you've you've completed this. But um, that's something that you have to handle through the College of Education. If you're not familiar with how to do this and you're in the College of Education, you need to go talk with those people uh, as soon as you can. And I have information on the final. That if you, look, you know, click on the link, you can get to that. Um, keep in mind, you also need to submit the final to both EMU Online and to the NK uh, Live Tech site. Okay, let me repeat that. If you are in an education program, and you are planning to be certified to teach English, you need to submit your final to both the NCATE site and to EMU Online. Okay, it's not one or the other, it's both. Now, if you're not in education, if you're you know, a writing major or a writing minor or journalism major or any of the other many majors that takes this class that you don't have to, you're not, you're not planning on being a teacher, then don't worry about it. This is not, not for you. You just need to submit to EMU Online. Okay. Um, finally, and this is important, I've actually done something kind of unprecedented. New. No. It's kind of fun to see my face kind of ooh, ooh, go like that. Uh, <coughs> originally, the final, the end of time for the class was Thursday uh, on the uh, 25th. I was looking at Kelly. Thursday on the 25th at, G and at 5 p.m. Well, it turned. I thought I had to turn grades in by Friday. Well, it turns out I have a little bit longer turning grades. So I'm extending the end of time to midnight, June 26th, okay? 
Now, just to be clear about what that means, that means that you have that much more time to do any kind of revisions, and it also means that you have that much more time to do the final. So my hope is, is that giving you an extra, well, 30 hours, um, I know it's not much, but in a seven and a half week term, I mean, you know, kind of adds up. Giving you that extra time frame, my hope is, is that some people can have a little bit of breathing room to do some of the revisions or do the final or, or things like that. So midnight, June 26 is now the new end of time. <clears throat> now, what does the end of time mean? Well, just to be clear about this, the end of time is the last possible moment in which you can turn anything in. Any outstanding work, any revisions, anything has to be turned in no later than midnight on June 26. Um, and just to sort of illustrate this, to be clear, you know, I, on June 26 at 11.59 p.m., everything's fine. Birds are singing, children are playing, the sky is, well, it'll be dark by then, but the sky is clear, all is well. Uh, on June 27th, at the strike of midnight, time itself ceases to exist. We are sucked into a void, a nothingness. A dark black hole. <laughs> Scary, huh? Yeah. So, what I mean is, what I mean is, if you were to come and say to me, hey Steve, is there any way I can turn something in on June 27th? I would say, what do you mean? There is no June 27th, okay? So, be very, very careful and very clear about this. The end of time, which I have extended, so you got that going for you, is still nonetheless the end of time because all things must come to an end and for us that end will be at midnight on June 26. Uh, okay, I uh, hope this, this helps a little bit and uh, keep asking questions about the final, keep getting in touch with me about revising stuff and other than that I will uh, see you all online.